Good morning, my name is Alan. I do a lot of wildlife photography and I'm here this morning in the Wareham Forest, which is a beautiful surroundings. Uh, if you've never been here, I would advise you to take a walk. Now, I'm going to hopefully give you some insight into how I take my wildlife photography, show you some of the equipment and what I tend to wear. Photography. Now, I started photography many, many years ago. I'm not going to tell you how long ago because then you'll guess how old I am and that would be embarrassing. So I started and as I've gone through the years from my experience I've learnt more and more and that's the only way you're going to learn is by actually taking pictures, finding out your mistakes and improving on them. My background is I've taken uh, shows, I've been taking pictures in shows, schools, for reunions, concerts, uh, I've done a few weddings and since the lockdown um, it's actually given me the opportunity to get out and walk around the countryside and do what I really want, well, love doing, and that's being out in the open. And that's how I got involved with barn hours, and you'll see a lot of pictures of the barn hours I've taken, and that's over two years. And the thing about that is, I knew nothing about barn hours. And then I started, I found some, started photographing them, and that made me curious. So I started finding out more information. And you can do that by the website, read about it, and that's the thing, if you're going to take a picture of a particular animal, a bird, find out. It's about finding out where they are, what they like doing, the time of year maybe you'll see them, because some animals hibernate. And with the barn owls, yes, I'm all in this green and some of you might be laughing, because people have, but if I said to you, I stood by a gate and a barn owl flew past, and if I put my hand out, it would have flown into it. You just can't imagine how, what a great feeling that is and a privilege to see it. And I found out some great information about barn owls because I started photographing them. And it really surprised me. And it's not until you do that, you realize how important the surroundings that you're in are. For instance, if I said to you, 70% of young barn owls don't make it. Unfortunately, they die of hunger, get hit by cars. Since World War II, they've declined. Fortunately now, we realise um, that this is happening and things are being done to stop it. So just get out there. And I keep saying that, but get out there. It's a fantastic world around you of mesmerising. That's the only word I can use, it's mesmerising. Get out there, take the pictures, because a photograph, whether it's of the natural world or anything you want to photograph, for me, it's a moment in time. We can all have memories in our head and we can describe something, but a photograph for me is a moment in time which is there. You can actually see it. And when you take a picture of an owl or an insect, you actually see things that you don't normally see because we don't look. We walk along in this fantastic place where we are in the Wareham Forest and we don't actually look at what's around us. Now that's the serious bit. and. Uh, it shows you how passionate I am about photography and the world around me. So, as I've said, photography, there is such a wide scope to get out and find something that you love to take pictures of. And remember, it's you enjoying that and good luck. And I hope this uh, inspires you to push on, with, push on with photography. And hopefully, if they have me back, they might have me back, we can uh, maybe show you a bit of urban photography, landscape photography, who knows where it will take us. But in the meantime, get out of bed get out into the wild and have a great time. And the other thing I'm gonna say is, when you get up at five o'clock in the morning, and for some of you that may be, oh my word, this is a, this is a nightmare, you at least by 11 o'clock, you've had a day. You're not still in bed. You've had most of the day and you've still got the rest of the day. So get out of bed, get out there.